Good evening, friends. Welcome to tonight's show. There's been a lot of things that have been happening uh, with regards to people like Samir Vankare and uh, uh, you know uh, the people who have been attacking him so far. Now, the latest news is that the former NCB Zonal Director, Samir Vankade, was transferred to Chennai at DG Taxpayer Service Directorate. This comes days after Maharashtra Home Minister Dilip Vasle Patel on demanded action against the former NCB Zonal Director, Samir Vankade, a day after the Narcotics Control Bureau gave a clean chit to Shah Rukh Khan's son, Arin Khan, and others in the Cordelia drug seizure case. The man at the center of the Cordelia Cruz drugs case, former zonal director of the NCB, Samir Vankade has been transferred to Chennai. Uh, Vankade was transferred to the office of the Director General of Taxpayer Services in Chennai. He would be posted in the said department as an additional director and is likely to take charge of the post on June 10th. The said department caters to the problems and issues of the taxpayers and is not considered to be completely a side posting as perceived, said a senior government official. The government sources said the total of 204 IRS officials, including Vankre, were transferred across various departments across the country. The heat on the NCB to take action against Vankre. For what? You know, the media is considering a shoddy investigation. It's nowhere has it been said into the drugs case in which Arin Khan was given a clean shit on May 27th has grown exponentially. Vankade, an IRS officer of the 2008 batch, was sent to the NCB Mumbai zone in August 2020 on loan from the Directorate of Revenue Intelligence, DRI, in the wake of the uh, drugs probe being conducted by the agency into the death of the 34-year-old actor Sushant Singh Rajput. He had been served, serving as the head of the zonal director of the NCB Mumbai unit since August 31, 2020 and was given some extensions. Vankane's extended uh, tenure with the NCB ended on December 31st, 2021. And as there had been no order for his extension, he was sent back to his parent organization, DRI, which functions as an investigation agency under the Central Board of Indirect Taxes and Customs. Vankade had earlier served in airport, customs, service tax, and national investigation agency, as well as in Mumbai, before being posted at the DRI. Now, assuming that uh, Samir Wankade uh, did a mistake in the investigation, as per what the uh, present NCB is saying, which we all know is uh, raw, uh, a lie, they were fast to punish him by posting to DGDS. <coughs> this is what they say. But yesterday, as we clarified, there was no uh, extortion charges against Samir. All because one rich boy had to spend 28 days in jail. Did the government punish the judge or police who failed completely here? Not 28 days, 20 years. Okay, now here, what I'd like to tell you is that interestingly, uh, let me just add Jaydev as well. Yeah, welcome Jaydev. Uh, good evening to all the viewers. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, Jaydev, we were discussing the Samir Vankade, uh, you know, issue and his posting uh, to Chennai. Now here I'd like yeah. to tell the viewers, please don't see this as any sort of punishment. There is something more to it. And it has already been uh, written uh, by many in Twitter that this is a very serious post where he's been gone to Chennai and he is doing something really serious. Now we can't talk about it. So I'd rather not mention uh, what he has gone there to do. So, yeah, Jaydev, if you could, uh, yeah. you know, see, there was a tweet by his yeah. wife, Kranti. So yeah. perhaps you could read a, a list of some of his uh, achievements. Yeah, before that, I would like to say that, um, you know, um, you know, his posting in Chennai. Yeah, I do expect something uh, positive to come out of it. Jaydev, you have an echo. Uh, is it audible? Yeah. It's yeah. a bit of an echo. Yeah, yeah. So um, I do expect that, uh, you know, it's um, something positive to come out of, uh, you know, uh, this uh, Chennai posting. 
uh, and uh, with regards to you know some of the um, achievements is that in 2013 uh, samir wankade uh, had a commendable performance in surpassing the original revenue target by a comfortable margin and realizing uh, 727 crores against the target of rupees 613 crores and thereby achieving 60 percent growth over the revenue re realizing realization of previous year and he was commissioner of customs uh, of csi airport mumbai and then uh, you know he has worked in dig uh, nia mumbai and he did um, you know excellent work done in the arrest of four accused along with the consignment of 11 pistols 22 live cartridges and cannabis from lucknow uh, he also did excellent work in connection with uh, collecting valuable information of daud ibrahim gang and preparing the uh, dossier of daud ibrahim uh, kaskar and uh, see, these are some of just some of the achievements which, uh, you know, Kranti has, uh, I believe, posted in her Twitter. Yeah, yeah. So there are so many achievements that, uh, you know, we'll I suggest that you, yeah, you go through, her, go through yeah. her Twitter and check these out. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. So back, uh, back to... Uh, so uh, there is something that he's been posted for and so, some things that uh, perhaps the government cannot tell. But anyway, knowing uh, Samir Wankade's character, we know that he's been posted for a certain reason in Chennai. Now moving yeah, on to the next. Yeah, yeah. yeah Karthik says uh, and in, a good point is that the moment Samir sir uh, starts his work in Chennai, uh, expect uh, BJP Tamil Nadu, especially Anamale, to support him. If that happens, uh, expect drama in TN politics. Yeah, this could be a very good uh, new development if that happens. Yeah. Uh, Balai ka uh, zamana nahi raha. Yeah. Yes, that's what we think it is. Uh, yes. Yeah. That's what we so, think. Yeah. And hope for. So, yeah. Moving on to the next uh, topic of the sea. Of Akshay Kumar. Akshay Kumar and Manushi Chiller, they performed the Ganga, Ganga Aarti in Varnasi amid Samrat Prithviraj promotions. Yeah, both have been extensively promoting their upcoming period drama, Samrat Prithviraj, also, which the name was changed because of uh, a, you know, a, a, a group who you know said that they cannot put the previous name to it. On Monday, the duo performed Ganga Aarti in Varnasi. He took a dip, Akshay took a dip in the river Ganga, of which the actor shared a video on Instagram. Along with the video, he wrote, Team Samrat Prithviraj in Varnasi yesterday. Film releasing in Hindi, Tamil and Telugu on a big screen near you on 3rd June. In the pictures and video that have surfaced from Varnasi, Akshay is seen donning a traditional white kurta and pajama and wore a tulsi mala around his neck. Manushi was seen wearing a peach salva suit. So here there were no slitted... Uh, uh, skirts or uh, stilettos or you know uh, cleavages showing and uh, so that was that is only kept for Karan Johar's parties. Now after their visit to Varanasi to promote the period drama, Akshay and Manushi hoisted uh, Samrat Prithviraj's flag at the Somnath temple in Gujarat. According to the makers of the film, the team is carrying Samrat Prithviraj Chauhan's flag to key cities as a mark of tribute to the valor. Now I don't know what they think they are doing. Are they saying that they are actually the Maharaja's people? The per person who fought the wars? Now, uh, viewers, listen carefully. In 2012, Akshay Kumar said, okay, let's not uh, forget what he said on, in 2012. In 2012, he said, I want to ask everyone their definition of a mandir. The real meaning of the term is man ke andar, which means God resides within us. When I was watching the play Kanji Virud Kanji, the film based on it, I was laughing throughout it. And when it ended, I was stunned. That's when I underwent this profound change. I regularly visited shrines and temples all across the country. And the actor feels that each trip would mean big bucks. He adds, I realized that I used to spend as much as four to five lakhs on each trip. I used to travel first class, have a security, give huge donations and stay in five star hotels. Now I dedicate this amount to cancer patients at a Parel hospital. Why he made a film that touches on religious issues? The actor says it's a small effort for my production house to 
to try and inform people about the significance of God. Today, I myself am a changed man. Looks like every movie changes this chameleon. And uh, look at the other uh, picture. See, here you see him, uh, you know, with Anurag Thakur at the IPF. Now, we don't know who admires the other one more than the, you know, whether it's Akshay who admires him more or, <coughs> or Anurag Thakur. They're, they seem like best buddies. And IPL, as you all know, is the adda for, you know, drug parties and batch fixing. Everything that is, you know, should not be done is done here. And that's how they make their big bucks. And look at the message that Akshay said on May 14 was really looking forward to rooting for our cinema at the Indian Pavilion at Khan 22, but have sadly tested positive for COVID. We'll rest it out. Loads of best wishes to you and our entire team, Anurag Thakur. We'll really miss being there. So you can see that he was first on the list of Anurag Thakur. And Anurag Thakur, in another message, uh, Jaydev, can you make it a little big? Uh, you know, wishes him. Happy birthday. Uh, Akshay Kumar, more power to you. I don't know what power he's talking about. To inspire millions through your movies that highlight various social issues in our society and help change mindsets. Wish you good health. Now, see, look at the way uh, each are, you know, sort of patting each other's back. Now, this is the same man with Pakistani ISI friends driving them where? We don't know. But they all three seem to be enjoying a jolly good ride. And again, you see it here. It's very close with these Pakistani ISI friends. And this is the same man who went to the temple now because his movie's Prithviraj is going to come out. Look at the way he changes colors, the way his talk changes. And these are the kind of people our ministers like Anurag Thakur promote. What lies in store for Anurag? I don't know. But when politicians have such close ties with Bollywood, when the attempt is to cleanse India of drugs, it's a very sad statement, you know, for us. Yeah, back to you, Jay. Yeah, so it is quite uh, amusing that uh, Anurag Thakur is so, you know, close and comfy with um, Akshay Kumar and uh, the rest of Bollywood. Uh, why does he have to be so close and comfy? Uh, after all, he's a politician and, uh, you know, uh, Bollywood is a film industry. Why do they have to, uh, you know, have such a close relationship? Uh, just like, you know, uh, it's like being close friends, uh, as though that's what it seems like. So um, we all know the, the reasons that, uh, you know, whether it's BJP or whether it's uh, Shiv Sena or whether it's Congress, they, they are, you know, there are people who are so deep rooted to the uh, Bollywood uh, fraternity. And so, uh, you know, it will take a long time to cleanse, uh, you know, this whole system or, uh, you know, you know, so coming to the next. Um, I think you can just take down uh, this point as well. Savitri says, boycott yeah. this Canadian joker, please. And Lal Chadda too. Amir said that pouring milk in lingam is a waste. Guys, instead of wasting money, feed the poor kids with that money. Now here, there's one more report here. This was some time back. Can you tell me the year, Jerry? It is 2006. Now, the ED issues notices to 35 actors in 2006. Among them is Akshay Kumar. Aishwarya Rai, Bipasa Vasu. And then you have Akshay Kumar, Dino Moria. The involvement of the Bollywood personalities in Hawala transactions came to light during a raid by the ED on the Andheri office of Talent Inc. During the raid, a laptop was found that contained the names of 35 film personalities who had alleged received uh, Hawala payments from abroad. Now we know who, who is this abroad. We, I just showed you some pictures. The owner of the Talent Inc, Manun Thakur, has been questioned in a statement. He has not named Ashwari as a recipient. Now this is a part of the news. So uh, Akshay Kumar was, and Dino Moria were very much a part of this. So if, if our ministers say they don't know the background of these actors, it's like, you know, saying that, see, he's just discovered that he's, you know, uh, alcohol is actually milk. Okay, back to you, Jen. 
Yeah, so coming to the next piece of news is uh, with regards to Kangana Ranaut. And uh, after her film, uh, Docket has flopped, you know, Kangana had sh- shared the next uh, her next film, which is called Emergency. And it was penned by uh, Ritesh Shah. And uh, Kangana has started the preparation for her, this film. And the actor shared photos from her uh, and uh, mentioned that she's most comfortable being a filmmaker. Of all the roles I play, I am the most comfortable in being a filmmaker. Uh, sharing another fo- photo, uh, day one, don't mess with me in my resting pose. Earlier talking about the film, Kangana wrote, uh, please to wear director's hat again. After working on Emergency for more than a year, I finally figured no one can direct it better than me. Uh, collaborating with fabulous the so-called uh, writer, uh, Ritesh Shah, even if it means sacrificing on uh, various acting assignments, I am determined to do it. My excitement is high. This is going to be a tremendous journey. Um, Kangana Ranaut had earlier mentioned that Emergency is not the biopic of Indira Gandhi. She called it a grand period film, which will help the newer generation to understand the social, the socio-political landscape of current India. Uh, so uh, I wonder what she's uh, trying to achieve. Uh, you know, by from what I understand, she'll be directing this film and not. Uh, maybe I, I don't know if she's going to act in this particular film. Of course, she'll act. It, she wants okay. all the attention. She will act. So it's not only acting, but she'll also be directing this film. So uh, now uh, you know, since she has uh, you know back-to-back uh, flops in uh, her past films, like uh, you know the one with Jayalalitha and um, Dakkar. So, you know, she's t- somehow trying to, you know, get a hit film and, uh, you know, somehow trying to get her image back. But unfortunately, you know, she has been um, boycotted by both the SSRians and also the uh, <laughs> Bollywood cabal is also, you know, making a big fool out of her. Yes. She is the she's biggest, the biggest <laughs> attention seeker. Yes, uh, Anita. Anunada says, um, even in 2006, so many Qatarudians were named, many were named in Panama Papers as well. However, no justice, even in 2022, I feel only divine will punish them for all their wrongdoings. Uh, yeah, at the moment, it seems like this, Anunada, but uh, let's hope for the best uh, in the future. Uh, Rosie says, uh, Kangana. Uh, she will soon learn a lesson. Uh, yes, Rosie. Kangana is blowing her own uh, yeah, horn. Yeah, absolutely. Kangana is a narcissist. Uh, no wonder Salman patched up with her. Yeah. So coming to the next piece of news is with regards to um, Lal Singh Chadda. And uh, Amir Khan and Kareena Kapoor's film, uh, Lal Singh Chadda, has finally released its trailer. And uh, since yesterday, netizens have been trending boycott Lal Singh Chadda. And many Twitterati stated that the reason for boycott as uh, nepotism and that the film is a copy of the um, film Forrest Gump, uh, which has uh, Tom Hanks. And while several citizens commented against the film, one fan commented, uh, Amir Khan says, uh, said India is intolerant and he wants to leave India. Another fan commented, uh, NCB challenged RC Bale in uh, Supreme Court. Are you ready to boycott Lal Singh Chadda? And uh, Adwait uh, Chandan's, uh, so this, uh, his directorial film, Lal Singh Chadda. So this is what, um, you know, like if, if you remember that Karina Kapoor said that, uh, you know, we don't care whether you watch our films not or yet. not. So I think uh, see, all the know, things. She... <laughs> yeah. If you look at all the things, see none of none of the things that he has done or has said are positive. His wife was so scared that they wanted to leave India because of the kind of violence that they found in India. Second thing is he was cavorting with people like Junaid Jamshed, you know the pop singer who died in an air crash, okay, and all these mullahs he used to go to Mecca and meet with people so-called terrorists. You know, and then 
go to uh, from there he would hop to istanbul now turkey is not the best place to be in turkey is not exactly a india's friend so what is this man doing in turkey he is mixing with all the the wrong sort of people and then after all that he puts a sikh spaghetti and says that he suddenly a sikh in a movie and he wants us to believe him and see the movie now first of all amir khan your brother faisal khan has given a very clear detailed uh, you know story about your own uh, you know behavior with him you are the one who made him go insane you put him in a mental asylum and you drugged him these are all the confessions that he has made all for the sake of his property now in each and every interview he has ripped you apart saying that i i'm i'm I, and, uh, uh, we are shocked i mean a brother could do this to another brother so if after all this and then i don't know how many women you have divorced so you are now going to go into another relationship with some uh, a very young uh, artist who was your you know daughter in a movie now what does this talk about your character amir khan i mean you don't have you're not sincere to your family you know you're not sincere to your country where which has given you so much of money you know and you're not sincere to even uh, you know uh, the the kind of people who are around you you prefer pakistan then why don't you go and settle down in pakistan because your wife would certainly feel safe in pakistan after all this you you act with a woman who says that i don't care the hell if you don't come and watch my movies we are talking about karina khan okay okay we're not going to watch your movie we're not interested in it so that's exactly what's going to happen you know you won't have any audience theaters will be empty you know and what will you do then yeah back to you jay yeah so i'm sure um, you know he will um, you know sort of this film will flop uh, this is what i feel and uh, you know it will just flop like darkard uh you know judging by the people's sentiments and uh, you know uh, anita says he thinks he can um attract sardars to theater just a way to earn yeah this could be a possible reason um i think amir khan is a self promoting ego mania gives tall lectures to the country while he is never loyal to his wife or kids yeah Right. Yeah, happy and hopeful not to forget the Palga Sadhus uh, lynched, where Congress was greatly involved. Hi, to Indian. Ah, uh, yes, Tom and Jerry. Uh, so, coming to the next piece of news. Yeah, perhaps he thinks he can attract Sadhus to the theater just a way yeah. to earn. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. <clears throat> I think Amir Khan is self-promoting. Yeah. Ego maniac gives tall lectures to the country while he's never loyal to his wife or kids. There is an old video where he's talking against Modi. Yes, and also the fact that see he had this uh, program Satyamaya Day where he used to talk all sorts of bullshit, you know. And this is the kind of man that we should trust and to see as a role models. Is that is that what Anurag Thakur and uh, Spriti and all are telling us to do, you know? absolutely terrible yeah back to you jay yeah so coming to the next piece of news is with regards to siddharth which is the tamil film actor and uh, siddharth was speechless after a netizen uh, mourns his death instead of uh, siddharth shukla so siddharth has, has expressed his shock after a social media user mourned his death instead of uh, late actor siddharth shukla and said he is speechless and taking to twitter siddharth uh, shared a screenshot of a post that read uh, rest in peace siddharth and that particular twitter user also uploaded uh, siddharth's picture alongside such a dis- um, you know alongside such a caption and reacting to the post uh, siddharth wrote uh, targeted hate and har- harassment what have we been reduced to uh, in another tweet he stated that he is uh, speechless nothing should surprise us these days i guess i am speechless so this is quite um, you know i feel sad for uh, siddharth shukla but 
you know, I feel, um, you know, it is quite humorous uh, that they thought See, actually, that. Actually, uh, Jaydev, yeah. this Siddharth is equally anti-Indian. Yeah. Okay, this Tamil uh, actor is yeah. always on a anti-India bashing spree. Yeah. Not very different from all these, uh, you know, Amir Khan's uh, uh, all these world. types. Yeah. yeah. And he now, had... Meanwhile, uh, uh, yeah. Meanwhile, uh, Rashmi Desai seems to be... Nobody seems to be noticing Rashmi Desai, right, Jai? So, and he was uh, quite—he uh, was quite uh, sexist against uh, Saina Nehwal, if you remember. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So coming to the next piece of. Uh, so before that, uh, you can just read Karthik's comment. It's interesting. The non-entity of an actor, Siddharth, is another urban Naxal. Yeah. Just ignore him. He's not worth our time. Yeah, he's Absolutely. another woke person. Um, and uh, you know he's trying to gain uh, you know remain in the spotlight i think more than boycott bollywood gutterwood and drug use money influences uh, affected badly by sami sir catching their drugs being um, by ncb daud gang must have said isko hatao ncb se sab <laughs> yeah <laughs> so he's anti indian since long he sat on dharna with Mira Patkar in Gujarat for protesting against <coughs> the height Narmada Dam. When the journalist asked, he was not knowing the height of the dam. Yes, Preeti. <laughs> yeah, party fund ka paisa ki log se hawala ki aate hai. That's exactly what Akshay and all were caught for. That's how Congress treats Hindu saints. Uh, they are very much anti-Hindu. Their action speaks loud. Uh, True Indian, is this the same Khan heading Satyamev Jayate and crying all the time for people issues? Uh, he's, uh, yeah, criminal, he's actor. They're all criminal mind actors in blood and skin and colors. Yes. And, uh, you know, these are all uh, double-faced uh, people, uh, all these Khans, you know. And, uh, you know, they're the biggest hypocrites, you know, they play uh, roles which like a patriotic uh, army person and, uh, you know, uh, and or an officer. But in uh, the real, in real life, they are something else. Oh, totally. this is interesting. The opposite. You can read yeah. this. Sirantan Das. Yeah, you can read this. I reckon none of the upcoming Bollywood films will be successful in theaters. PVR and Inox merge. Suggests that they are in a loss. Uh, yeah, yes, very uh, good. Yeah. Very good. But that's happening. And not only that, uh, even um, because of COVID, um, you know, the um, the theaters lost a lot of business. Yeah. And this is the same uh, Siddharth who divorced his wife and had multiple affairs. What more can you say about an actor like that? No character. What more can you expect? Hope uh, when film industry moves to UP, things change and cabal, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, this is a huge, um, you know, it's not an overnight operation because, um, you know, this has been deep rooted since many years and it will take a long time to, you know, cleanse the system. So, actors, uh, actually, Congress have no religion at all, uh, last secular, as and when they want. Yeah. Salman is casting South Indian actors in his new film, thinking that audience will <laughs> watch his film by doing so. <laughs> yeah, and uh, but I don't think that will happen. And, uh, you know, it lends in, uh, you know, Z5 OTT just uh, after two weeks of, uh, you know, release in the theater. Yeah. So, yeah, coming to the next piece of news is um, with regards to Rashmi Dasai. And Rashmi Desai uh, spoke about her uh, equation with uh, Siddharth Shukla back then. And she recalls people hating her for not being on uh, great terms with uh, Siddharth Shukla. And uh, the two appeared together in TV show Dil Se Dil Tak uh, and also participated in Big Boss 13. And uh, the actor spoke about the fans' reaction to her visiting uh, you know, Siddharth's house after his death. And... Uh, Speaking about how Siddharth was someone who lived life on his own terms and did not bother about what others would say. A lot of things were going on in my personal life. When I did the show with Siddharth, 
he knew about my life very closely and i knew about his we used to fight because of something else i used to always always tell him that inside his large body there was a 10 year old child he was like that only he used to live on his own terms and conditions so from this you can pick out that he uh, you know she uh, says that um, siddharth used to live his life on his own terms and conditions so which means that he was a rebel and because of this was he sort of you know murder right because he used to not listen to anyone or you know bend according to the system so uh, then she says that uh, rashmi also spoke about the fans reaction to her after siddharth's sudden death in 2021 she said when siddharth died she was going through a tough time in her personal life and that she has made her heartless and quite strong so uh, they were also seen fighting on the big boss 13 uh, show uh, it is not that after big boss 13 that we didn't talk we spoke on and off when uh, i used to see that he was doing good in his career i also used to feel good we were connected we had set a limit with each other on a mature level people loved me a lot and also hated me for what was happening between us but our journey was fully known to us so uh, these are some confessions coming from this lady uh, you know i think she's not getting any attention so yeah. and that's why she is suddenly jumped onto his bandwagon till now she was not even bothered about him you know and uh, suddenly like it's <laughs> Yeah, it's very strange. Yeah. So yeah, that's... and so she's trying to, you know, become more popular than um, Shaina's Gill, I think. Yeah. By you know using uh, Siddharth Shukla's name. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So we're so... talking. Uh, yeah, and uh, uh, you know, uh, also before we continue, Jerry, just let's just look at a little bit about uh, the murder of a singer. Uh, you know, Moosewala in the northern Indian state of Punjab, a day after a security cover was stripped. Shubdeep Singh Sidhu, popularly known as Sidhu Moosewala, was shot by unidentified people while he was traveling in the state's Mansa district on Sunday evening. He was 28. Two others were injured in the attack. The murder led to a political storm in the state with opposition leaders criticizing the government and the police. State police, uh, BK uh, chief, V.K. Bhavra said on Sunday that a Canada-based gangster had claimed rest responsibility for the attack. But Moosewala's family demanded an apology from Mr. Bhavra for linking the death to a gang rivalry without proper investigation. On Monday, Bhavra clarified in a statement that he hadn't said that uh, Moosewala was a gangster or affiliated with gangsters. One Goldie Brar has claimed the responsibility on behalf of the Lawrence Bishnoi gang. The investigation would look into all aspects regarding the murder, he said, adding that he had been misquoted by some media outlets. Punjab's chief minister, Bhagwan Man, has uh, ordered an inquiry led by a high court judge into the incident. Opposition leaders have questioned why the singer's security cover was scaled back, and this was immediately before he was killed. Police said that Muswala's security detail has been reduced to two commandos from four, and that these officers weren't traveling with the singer when he was attacked. He was among 400 people in Punjab whose security detail was withdrawn or scaled back recently by the AAP government. Man has said that this step was taken because of the government exercise to crack down on the so-called BIP culture, which privileges politicians above ordinary citizens. Man has expressed shock at his murder and promised that the culprits would be punished. Congress leader Gandhi, Rahul Gandhi said he was deeply shocked and saddened by the uh, murder. So now here, friends, what I would like to say is that it's very strange that just a few uh, you know, minutes before uh, he was killed, his security cover was removed. And the strange thing is, I find this AAP government rather, uh, you know, uh, behaving in a very odd manner. See, when you remove the security cover of certain people, you don't list them. They have actually listed the names of these people. Is it to give a hint to somebody, you know? So this is this very dangerous trend that they have, uh, you know, done by exposing the people whose, uh, you know, uh, security covers have been removed. So it's very strange, you know, and we find that rather odd. 
So, uh, Anita, this I know you wanted this news. So you were asking us about what's happening in Punjab. So I find there's something uh, very odd here, Anita. And the way AAP is behaving is also very odd. Instead of uh, bringing in security, a, law, a certain lawlessness has come into Punjab. And that's rather scary. Yeah, back to you, Jeff. Yeah, so coming to the next piece of news. If it regards to uh, Riya Ch Chakravarti, and uh, you know, after Aryan Khan gets a clean chit, uh, Riya's lawyer seeks a fresh probe into the drug case. And uh, so, uh, days, days after Aryan Khan um, was given a clean chit, by uh, you know special investigation team of NCB in the uh, Cruz case, advocate uh, Satish Manchinde has dem demanded a fresh probe into the drug case uh, registered against uh, Riya Chakravarti. And for the un for you know uh, if you remember Riya and her brother uh, Shovik, um, they were arrested uh, over the drugs related uh, charges in 2020 and spent some time in jail. Now, talking to media, Manishinde, uh, who is representing uh, Ria in her case, stated that no drugs were found on them. And during his conversation, Satish um, emphasized that uh, there should be an inquiry in uh, Ria and Shovik's uh, case as well. No drugs were found on them. No tests were done. They were just uh, WhatsApp chats and no test was done. When Aryan Khan case uh, showed that the false case was made, which had continued since uh, Riya Chakravarti's time, the, the new investigation was opened. He also alleged that NCB troubled a lot of people over the last three years and that action should be taken against them as well. Furthermore, Satish also asserted that Bollywood celebra celebrities cannot take drugs as their profession demands them to be fit. He also alleged that the NCB officials uh, paraded star for popularity Manchinde also mentioned that all such cases which are being handled by NCB should be reinvestigated. Uh, so uh, this is uh, for the, you know, if you remember that uh, Ria and her brother were arrested by NCB in September 2020, and Ria was granted bail after spending more than a month behind the bars, while Shovik uh, spent more than three months in jail uh, before he was released on bail. So yeah. it's quite see, funny. Also, that, yeah, yeah Jenny, you see. Uh, so it's even people like Ria have understood that if Aryan Khan can get get uh, free so easily, it can happen to them because they were in possession of drugs. So it's it's like you know, see if he can be free, why can't I be free? <laughs> yeah. So and uh, you know, it is funny that Satish Manchinde says that uh, you know, uh, no Bollywood uh, you know sort of uh, celebrity. You know, uh, what he exactly said is he asserted that Bollywood celebrities cannot take drugs as their profession demands them to be fit. So this is such a, uh, you know, funny statement made by Satish Manchinde. You know, it has been proven in the past that, uh, you know, people like uh, Sanjay Dutt have, uh, you know, taken drugs. You know, many others have, uh, you know, taken uh, drugs and openly confessed about it. Many big uh, superstars also have taken drugs. So drugs is part and parcel of Bollywood, you know, uh, from uh, uh, in the past and even in the present also. And so, yeah, we'll take some of the comments. Oh my God, I am definitely going to have bad luck today seeing this witch. <laughs> Hope my night shift goes well and I come back home safely in one piece. Uh, yes, Leonara. Uh, Muswala was a big Khalistani supporter who performed violent songs, um, inciting his fans to violence. Um, his being a congressy must have promoted ARP to reduce his um, security. And now they are blaming each other. I wonder why he did not use his bulletproof car and also left security behind from four. It had been reduced to two one day before. He should have taken them along at least. So rap singer uh, Sidhu Muswala was as violent when alive as in that. He flaunted his shooting skills with policemen who were later suspended for it. 
So yeah, Man uh, deliberately released Musawala's security details and that, then it is shocked by his death. He was a supporter of Khalistan. Yeah, thanks Meera ma'am and uh, JBG platforms like yours uh, act as antidotes to fake news going around and around by paid media. Uh, this way we get awareness of what the truth is. That you, uh, thanks a lot, uh, Preeti. And uh, you know, it's because of people like you, your comments and uh, you know, many others uh, here in live chat and as well as uh, you know, offline. Uh, you know, it's people like you that who make intelligent comments that you know, we, have, we uh, sort of give you the unbiased news uh, and we try to bring you the truth every time. Thai was a bad omen for our sweet Sushant. Yes. Yeah, yes, uh, Stella. If Katawut makes a biopic on Ria, it will be titled Ekti Dayan. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah. But one sad thing, like Ria, uh, he chose her, didn't believe family, family tried to save him. Yeah, what uh, I understand is Sushant. Uh, you know, selected, uh, sort of believed in Ria. That's what, you know, unfortunately. So if Bollywood actors don't take drugs as they have to be fit, as Manchinde said, then even SSR was not into drugs. Uh, he was a fitness freak. He was one of the fittest person in Bollywood. Yes, Sangeeta. Uh, he was not only a fitness freak, uh, he was immensely talented. He was extremely intelligent. He had achieved a lot of things you know, which other actors were extremely jealous, jealous of. And that's why, you know, they, uh, you know, he was uh, taken away or taken out. Wonder why Republic is not reporting on Aryan Khan's uh, case, uh, Tom and Jerry. I do believe that, uh, you know, Arnab has uh, a lot of um, legal cases, uh, you know, uh, which, uh, you know, on him, uh, filed by Bollywood, uh, you know, production house. Find him in several ways. Yeah. And so he is bound by several legal, uh, you know, cases. And that's why I guess he is not reporting on the Aryan Khan case or anything against Bollywood. And I'm also surprised that he did not report, um, he did not have a debate, uh, you know, with regards to, you know, Samir Wankade's, uh, you know, targeting also. That's quite uh, interesting that why he did not have a debate. Right. Anonymous says Ria is a yeah. Indian Amber. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Maya says, uh, can you just, yeah, take Maya's? Today, SC has asked Mumbai High Court to hear Deshmukh's bail applicant. This shows how money and influence the courts. Yes. We should not only boycott their films, but also react on their ads and brands. Yes. Hope the Noida film city is free of these gutterwood monsters. No one is willing to rent out his flat to Ria as she was looking for one. That's very true. I think on this note, we can end this session. Thank you so much, friends. So we'll see you tomorrow for another session of News Bites. Good night. Good night.